The jungle is an incredible place, and many people across the world owe their lives to the gorgeous landscapes present within them. The trees within jungles produce an enormous amount of the oxygen that humans on Earth breathe, and without them, it would be much harder for humanity to survive. As much as they are amazing, however, jungles are also mysterious. There are some incredibly strange things that have been found within jungles, and you wouldn't believe the kinds of things that people have pulled out of there. Here are 20 of the most mysterious things found in the jungle. Number 20. Plastic Village Within the jungles of Bocas, nobody would expect to find something as unnatural as a castle made of plastic. That is exactly what one would find, however, and it's all thanks to a single man who wanted to do something to recycle all the plastic being used by humanity. Robert Bizeau, originally from Quebec, arrived in Bocas many years ago and helped with many recycling programs in the country. A plastic mesh, mm -hmm. it's a mistake also. It was staggering to see the amount of recyclable material removed from the garbage, which he saved from being burned or buried in the small region's only landfill. He estimates that he had over one million bottles accumulated, which he wanted to do something with. So he built an entire village, including a castle. The Plastic Village is now a tourist destination with Bocas, with people traveling from all over the world to see the ingenuity of one man who wanted to change the world for the better. Number 19. Square Trees Trees are one of the most common life forms in the world, and as such, many people know their characteristics pretty well. One of the most well-known is that their trunks are round rather than square. But in the aptly named Valley of Square Trees, something is obviously strange about the trunks of the trees growing there. Situated on the second largest inhabited dormant volcano in the world, it is a risky place for settlement but has been inhabited for a very long time. The group of cottonwood growing within the valley is unique across the entire world in fact that they grow completely square, rather than the round that most people are used to. Researchers at the University of Florida attempted to grow these trees to see if they would retain their square shapes but were unable to recreate the conditions. This means that something in the environment causes it, but nobody has been able to figure out what it is. Number 18. Bamboo Drifting Bamboo drifting is an incredibly beautiful art form practiced only within China and involves people drifting along jungle rivers upon nothing but a singular stalk of bamboo. This art was actually completely unknown outside of China for a very long time until it was posted on the internet many years ago. Rumors state that the art form came from the postage system, which was historically underfunded, and the mailman had no funds for boats to travel along the rivers. As such, they devised a method to travel with only a singular bamboo stalk. It's incredibly beautiful to watch, and the fact that the internet has shown this beautiful art to more people across the world just showcases how incredible of a tool it is. Number 17. Plant Hopper Nymph The Plant Hopper Nymph, also known as the Snowflake Bug or the Popcorn Bug, is a particularly strange insect that has been observed in several jungles throughout the world. This island is all about as their nickname suggests, they can resemble snowflakes or kernels of popcorn as they walk and flit about different plants, attempting to blend in amongst different types of foliage. These bugs are laterally flattened and hold their broad wings vertically to create a sort of tent. This is meant to conceal parts of the body and provide natural camouflage, and many also produce wax from a special gland on the abdomen. This wax is hydrophobic and also helps to conceal the insects. Many people find these bugs fascinating due to their appearance, but their protection mechanisms and camouflage also deserve some respect. Number 16. Crocodile Tear Feeding 
people don't often think of insects needing minerals, but the truth is that everything living needs minerals in order to survive. Despite their short lifespans, butterflies often gravitate towards salty things when they are particularly low on sodium, which can be very rare within the jungle. This video showcases one of the strange ways that butterflies get their minerals by drinking the tears of a resting crocodile, which doesn't seem to mind them whatsoever. Crocodiles continuously produce tears in order to keep their eyes moist and produce enough that the minuscule amount taken by these butterflies won't even be missed. It's odd to see in practice for sure, but the way that nature works by finding loopholes like this is part of what makes it so interesting to people who study it. Number 15. World's Longest Water Slide if you're a big fan of water slides, then it looks like you'll have to make a trip to the jungle sometime soon. The world's largest water slide is actually located in the rainforest at Escape Penang in Malaysia, and it takes an astounding four and a half minutes to get from the top to the bottom of it. The slide can accommodate two people riding beside each other and is 3,645 feet in length. It currently holds the Guinness World Record for world's longest water slide, and right now, there isn't even any competition vying for the spot. The slope of slide is approximately 230 feet down, but that involves several twists and turns that move throughout the gorgeous jungle scenery. There really isn't a more beautiful place to slide. Before we go on, do like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or the centipede will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. It's time for today's subscriber pick. This odd plane was found washed up within the river of a major jungle in Africa, and nobody's exactly sure what it could have come from. There are clues all across the body of it, such as the number 23 near the nose and the red star at the tail end of the plane. Other than that, there isn't much identifying information, and there was no black box found within it. Who do you think owned this plane? Why do you believe the wreckage was found without a body and without a black box? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag subscriber pick and let us know what you think and where you believe this plane came from. Now, on to the next topic. Number 14, Vertical Jungle. Although this isn't a traditional jungle, the fact that it's described as a vertical jungle is interesting enough to see it placed on this list. These buildings are actually experimental green structures placed in large cities in China with the hope to clean some of the smog-filled air and lower the temperature of the apartments inside. Unfortunately, these jungles don't seem to be doing so well. People often describe them as mosquito havens, considering the plants and basins of water present the perfect place for them to thrive amidst the comparative concrete jungle of the city. This has led to massive annoyances for the citizens, paired with the fact that very few people actually live in these jungles. Overall, they are an incredibly neat idea that may work eventually, but as of the moment, they are more of a nuisance than anything. Number 13. Trees that bleed metal? Heavy metals are generally incredibly toxic toward most trees and kill off any within a couple feet of a source. A specialized group of trees, however, have evolved to take up the normally toxic metals into their stems, leaves, and even their seeds in some rare cases. Researchers have been studying a particular tree growing in New Caledonia and believe that it may be a way to protect against insects. Burrowing insects are often a big reason why trees trees die off as they cut into the tree and leave behind nothing but a husk. With these metals in their trunks, however, the insects are killed fairly quickly and choose not to try to burrow into that tree again. This incredibly interesting example of evolution just showcases why natural selection works within nature. Number 12. Mystical Blue River in many different depictions of water, it is often described as a beautiful blue color or even iridescent. 
The truth of the matter, however, is that most water is clear. The Rio Celeste, however, takes blue water to the extreme. The water is not clear. It is specifically a bright, shining blue, and it's no matter what angle you look at it from or how you try to sample it. The interesting thing about the river is that it isn't exactly known why the water runs so blue and why it looks so different to other water running nearby. Many have guessed that it has to do with the mineral components within the water, but then it wouldn't make sense that other rivers running into the Rio Celeste run clear. Overall, it's an incredibly strange mystery, but it results in one of the most beautiful rivers in the world. Number 11. Daughter Plant when someone thinks about a parasite, they usually think about an insect or perhaps some sort of disease. The daughter plant, however, breaks that mold in that it's one of the very few, very rare, purely parasitic plants. These odd vines grow onto and attach to certain other plants, and upon doing so, they actually make them incredibly more susceptible to other diseases and insect damage. Though it isn't fully understood how they're able to do that, all that is known is that the vine seems to flourish as its host is dying, though it doesn't want to kill it completely. That would also kill the daughter. It's strange to think about a plant that also operates as a parasite, but it's definitely not the weirdest thing on this list. Number 10. Thousand Falls Tompak Sua, also known as Koban Sua or the Thousand Falls, is a tiered waterfall system that is located between the Pranajiwo district and the Ampel Gading district in Indonesia. It is overshadowed by Sumeru, an active volcano at the highest mountain in Java. The Glitic River, which flows down the mountain, is the primary source of water to the falls. Because of the way the stone structures at the top of the falls have developed, the water does does not fall in one continuous sheet. Instead, it falls in separate distinct deluges, giving the appearance of many distinct waterfalls running down the cliff face beside each other. These falls are a very popular tourist spot, especially on the weekends. There is tourism infrastructure built around and outside of the falls, which allows easier access to the area, but the trip is still quite physically demanding and may take over an hour to hike. Number 9. Angkor Wat Hidden City Angkor Wat is a temple complex in Cambodia and is widely known as the largest religious monument in the world. The site measures a staggering 402 acres and was originally constructed as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu for the Khmer Empire. It was gradually converted into a Buddhist temple, however, towards the end of the 12th century. Angkor Wat was built by the Khmer king Sarvarvarman as his state temple and eventual Molosseum. The massive site is surrounded by jungle and was actually undiscovered for a very long time until its eventual rediscovery. The reason for this is the fact that the site is carved mostly into the mountains of the area, meaning that it was well concealed from view for all but the most dedicated travelers. The city showcases a great love for the king's nation, and it's clear that he wanted his love for both his god and his nation to shine through in the city's architecture. Number 8. Ariu Towers when someone is wandering through a jungle, they are likely anticipating having to sleep on the floor in a sleeping bag or a tent. What they aren't expecting to find, however, is a massive gorgeous hotel that was completely abandoned by the builders. The Ariu Towers is exactly that. It's an abandoned boutique hotel 60 kilometers northwest of Manaus, Brazil, on the Rio Negro. The concept for the property was created by Dr. Francisco Rita Bernardino, and the property featured six prominent towers with all 291 rooms elevated off of the forest floor. These rooms were to be connected by approximately five miles of catwalks and amenities, including two restaurants and three swimming pools. Unfortunately, the government seized the property in 2015 due to its massive outstanding debt and attempted to sell it to pay it off when nobody purchased it, it was left to remain abandoned. Number 7. Fordlandia 
Fordlandia is a district and adjacent area of around 5,500 square miles in the city of Aveiro in the Brazilian state of Para. It was established by American industrialist Henry Ford in the Amazon rainforest in 1928 as a prefabricated industrial town intended to be habited by 10,000 people to secure a source of cultivated rubber for the automobile manufacturing operations of the Ford Motor Company. That's correct, he established an entire town in order to attempt to secure more rubber for tires. Ford had negotiated a deal with the Brazilian government that allowed him to take the land in exchange for 9% of the profits generated. Ford's project, however, failed and the city was abandoned in 1934. The town was mostly deserted with only 90 residents still living in the city until the early 2000s when it saw an increase of population and now it actually has a fairly stable population of around 4,000 people. Number 6. Fake Rainforest Although this is not something found within a jungle, it is certainly an oddity related to jungles that many people haven't heard about. The official project was known as the Biosphere Project, and it was proposed that several people would go into this dome and was completely separated from the outside world. They would produce their own oxygen, via plants, grow their own food, and do everything that the Earth as a whole was supposed to do. This was proposed as a test for Martian biosphere in order to see if they would work and what sort of problems they would face. The biosphere, however, was only used twice for its intended purpose. Both ran into problems of low food and low oxygen, eventually resulting in the die-off of many plants and animals and requiring the people living inside to come out before expected. It was an ambitious project and hopefully something like it succeeds in the future. Number 5. Coochie Tunnels the tunnels of Kuchi are an immense network of connecting tunnels located in the Kuchi district of Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam. They are part of a large network of tunnels that underlie nearly the entire country and are a very important part of the country's history. The Kuchi tunnels were dug and used by the Viet Cong soldiers as hiding spots during combat, as well as serving as communication and supply routes hospitals, food, and weapon caches, and living quarters for numerous North Vietnamese fighters. The tunnel systems were of great importance to the Viet Cong in their resistance to American forces, and they greatly helped to counter the growing American military effort during the Vietnam War. Life in the tunnels was incredibly difficult and often resulted in many deaths. Without them, however, the Vietnam War would have gone very differently for the fighters. Number four. Tent Bats the tent bat, also known as the American leaf-nosed bat, is found in lowland jungles of Central and South America. The bat is relatively small compared to others and has a gray coat with a pale white stripe running down the middle of the back. Its name, however, comes from a fleshy leaf-like nose that allows them to hide within plants and camouflage as a type of leaf. It's common for many of these bats to live together in groups, using their noses to create a more convincing leaf-like structure above them. These roosts provide excellent protection from the tropical rains, which would otherwise batter their small bodies down towards the ground. The bat is quite common within its region, despite rarely being seen due to its camouflage. That, of course, means that it's working. Number 3. Blue Iguana the blue iguana is an endangered species of lizard which is native to the island of Grand Cayman. These odd lizards only live on that one specific island in the whole world, disregarding their various appearances in zoos and reptile expos. They are a brilliant blue in color, which is actually relatively rare in nature. If you think about it, the most common color for most creatures is either brown or green, allowing them to blend easily into natural habitats. It's unknown what exactly causes these lizards to be such a vibrant blue, but there is speculation that it has to do with mating rituals. The blue iguana is one of the most endangered lizards on Earth. In 2006, it was estimated that there were less than 15 remaining in the wild. However, preservation efforts will result in them being more common. Number 2. Corpse Flower 
The corpse flower is incredibly interesting for multiple reasons, and its name definitely has to do with the most interesting of the bunch. First of all, the corpse flower, also known as the Titan Arum, is the largest unbranched flower in the world. This means that it's the largest flower unsupported by branches by the mother plant. The reason it's known as the corpse flower is because of the relatively unique scent that it excretes. It has been described in a variety of ways, with the most common being that of rotten meat or of a dead corpse. It likely does this in order to attract insects, which become stuck to it and then dissolved by its acidic sap. The flower can reach over three feet high, and the scent can be smelled from quite far away. This seems to be particularly effective, however, considering how well the plant is able to grow. Number 1. Patagonian Penguins Penguins may not be an odd sight in places like the Arctic, where it's cold year-round and they're allowed to live unhindered and hunt without issue. But seeing a penguin in a jungle? That's when things get odd. The Patagonian penguins are a group of five different species that have collectively decided that migrating to the jungle during the winter makes life a lot easier. They do so in order to forage for food, which becomes less plentiful during the incredibly cold Arctic winter. These penguins have been seen as far north as Peru or Brazil, and are certainly a strange sight whenever spotted. Some people have thought of this as an example of global warming, which would be worrying. But it seems these penguins don't give much thought to that side of things. So which of these things do you think is the most mysterious? What would you do if you found any of these things while wandering through the jungle? Do tell us in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so that we know you enjoy this type of video. Smash that bell icon so you're always alerted to our newest videos, and we'll catch you on the next one.